Hi everyone. So in this recording, I will be talking about unit level data. So before that, what is data? So data refers to the raw facts, observation, measurements, which are generally they are numerical in nature or they are in categorical variable. So I will not go much into this. So my main topic is unit level data. So unit level data refers to that data which is collected at individual level. So this individual can be anyone so what do i mean so this can be whenever we heard about individual we think this is a person level data so yes indeed it can be a individual level data which means that data represents a specific person but it can also mean household level data this company data or related to transactions right so for example for each time the credit card is getting swiped so that is called this unit level data for the transactions or this bank so i hope you got it so this data provides a detailed information so this is very helpful because you can understand the patterns the relationship the trends at the individual level data so this is mainly used in the field of economic, sociology, psychology, public health. So if you have come across this NSSO data, PLFS data, IHDS data. So these are very helpful in understanding. Let's say, for example, for the PLFS data, it helps you understand the employment level, unemployment level in the economy. This how much a household is doing the consumption MPC basically. So this can help a researcher to make conclusions about the population. So I will come across this, how, how he can make the population inferences about the population based on the secondary data. So I will come to this. So it is also called micro data or disaggregated data or raw data. So this unit level data, these all are the other names of, for this. Aggregated data or reports can be generated by making use of programming tool statistical packages on this unit level data. So in the coming videos, I will be using Stata for this statistical analysis and for making all the tables which are present in the PLFS annual report. Why Stata? Because Stata I found very efficient. Earlier I was doing on the R, but r is bit slow but mind you one thing if you are able to understand the concept then be it stata be it r be it python you can do on any application because the concept remains the same if time permits i will try to do through r also right now so these are not much of use but i will try to un make you understand this multiplier whenever you will work with the unit level data you will always always come across this multiplier thing and multiplier is very very useful so this conclusions about the population so this multiplier helps us in reaching the population so let me give you an example so Let's say this is my economy. There are total 10 individual and I have done this, uh, this. I have asked them about their yearly consumption. So they have given me this, 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 this. And I, I came across that the total consumption for this economy is 9,90,000. But in reality, we cannot do this sampling for the whole population. We cannot ask for each and every individual. Hence, we move on to this sampling. So for the sampling, I have chosen a person. I have asked him or her and they have mentioned their yearly consumption. Then this is the weight which I have applied and how this weight has been applied is altogether a different thing. And thankfully, we don't have to do much calculations because if you are working with the PLFS data or with NSSO data, 
for all type of unit level data you are given with this idea how to calculate weight so that is very very simple i will show you in this data how you can calculate the weight and then simply you have to multiply it and then you have to add this so you can get for the whole population what is the total consumption you didn't get it so let me take an another example so let's say let's say there are three types of question in exam hard then this is moderate and then this is easy and i'm saying uh, for hard question it's five points for medium it's three for easy it's one point now somebody has solved one question this person has solved two question and this person has solved four question now on the face of it it might seem that the person has solved four question hence he is more intelligent but if you will not multiply it with this weight then you will say this person is more intelligent but if once if you have multiplied with the weight then you will realize no this person has more caliber so i know this is a vague example but this is what it is now if i talk about in terms of this practicality so for example in the social group this obc population is very much so you can uh, for example there are 10 people and out of 10 you have found that two people are unemployed right and eight people are employed and likewise then you deep dive further and you want to check for the social group so i don't know i'm not able to explain you properly but you have to understand that um, how to explain it let me think about it so let's say let's say there are 100 people and 100 in the 100 people there are uh, let's say 20 people who are un unemployed and there are 40 people who are unemployed and this 20 people belongs to obc uh, not obc this 20 people belong to st categories and this 40 belongs to obc now on the face of it you might think that the obc because mind it i am not talking about the whole population i am talking about only social groups so on the face of it you might find that obc has more unemployment as compared to st but if you go for their population i mean in what quantity they are available in the economy for obc are in the large proportion i'm not sure but let's assume they are 50% let's assume i am not sure right now and this sts are only 10% of the economy now this this is more they are if if i talk about in percentage terms they are more unemployed as compared to obc so this is what i mean when i say for the weights i hope you have got it if you have not got it then in the upcoming videos things will be much more clearer so on aggregation household level multiplier gives us the estimate for the whole economy as i have shown you that if you aggregate all these so then you can get the estimate for the whole population now next comes this sampling stages so as you know this unit level data are large scale data so the in the first stage what you do you select what all will be the villages what all will be the urban blocks in the urban areas in the second stage you select the household or the enterprises and in the third third stage you select the individuals although while calculation these won't matter much these are just theory so advantage of unit level data so national representation as i have shown you through weights you can represent represent for the whole economy so this gives us the characteristics for the individual people or entities so in depth understanding of socio economic issues for example i can find within a particular group for example within the sc categories 
what is the unemployment rate so likewise we can find the socioeconomic for example within the female who are in the rural sector and those belonging to divorced or separated case how they are performing in the economic so likewise we can do now this format this is a important thing but now it is not a big deal so earlier what it used to happen that we were given the data in the this sky format this text format but thankfully now we don't have to do anything uh, so let me show you so these are the data so this doesn't make sense now have you heard about csv file if i have done this comma 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 then we could have used text to column and separated it in the different columns so likewise there is a layout file which is given to us and i will show you layout file in some time so let's say this first two represents whether they are in the urban block or in the rural block for example 01 belongs to rural 02 belongs to urban and so on let's say the next three represents something let's say these this represent some age maybe i'm not sure but likewise what they have done so let me let me explain once again so what i am saying is they have fixed format format so sometime it is also called fixed width file so they have this fixed width so first two represents let's say sector for then then next two next three maybe uh, let me write then next three maybe representing this um, age then next one represents gender maybe next two represents their social group and so on but now what it does this uh, mosby they directly gives you your data file in stata format or in spss format or and many more formats and no doubt they are still giving the data in the text format so but earlier there was a cumbersome process to extract the data out of it now we can simply download the data and we can load in our stata or in r even in the r you can directly import stata format file directly so these are not much relevance so ha huh, this primary key primary key is very very important so what what i mean let's say for example you have been given household level data then you have individual level data now if i want to merge these two so what i will do so i will take one to many relation so what what do i mean so household 1 2 3 now household 1 can have four members 1 2 3 4 household 2 can also have uh, three members household 3 can have five members and so on right because in the household now household can have same social group right if i am saying there are a b c d person in this household 1 then it's quite obvious that all the four people will have same social group it's a different case that somebody let's say c is mature enough that he has done his dharmantran and he has changed his uh, religion and social group and so on that's a separate case we don't consider those things so it's a one to many relation now let's say sometime what happens social group is given in one block and let's say my religion is given in one column uh, one block so these two are household level data only so first what we will do we will merge these two blocks together using one is to one relation and next and for same example for uh, likewise uh, let's say in one block i have been given this age because obviously age will be unique for each individual right then education education will be 
सेम सॉरी यूनिक फॉर ईच इंडी ईच इंडिविजुअल एंड दे माइट बी इन डिफरेंट ब्लॉक्स सो वी विल मर्ज दीज टू ब्लॉक्स दीज थ्री और वट एवर ब्लॉक्स आई हैव थ्रू वन इज टू वन वंस दे आर मर्ज लाइक मर्ज इंडिविजुअल डेटा देन आई हैव हाउस होल्ड मर्ज्ड हाउस होल्ड डेटा राइट आई हैव I have found out basically what I have done. I have found which blocks have the variables in which I am interested in, and likewise I have merged them. So things will be much clearer once I have shown you the data files, all the related documentation. So just keep these things in the head, and if you are not understanding, you will understand the next video. Hundred percent. That's my guarantee. So now, how merge household level data? Then I have merged individual level data. Then what I can do? I can do one is to m means one to many merging, and then we will get a master data set. On the master data set, I have all the required variables and everything. Now I can do all the statistical operations i can make tables i can do regression and i can do many things so in the next video we will do a practical implication how to first of all how to download the data step by step process